Okay, so continuing from my previous video, we're going to make the rod that goes between the handle and the stamp. So the first step was to cut a 9 inch section of 3 8 steel rod on the bandsaw that was using a bimetal metal cutting blade. I then took that section of rod to my belt sander and cleaned up the ends so that I could mark a center point. I used my Dremel with a cutting wheel to cut several shallow flutes into the rod. This was so that when I put this into the wooden handle, it, it's so that the epoxy has something to grip. I marked the center of the rod, and that was so that I could mount it to my lathe and drill a small hole. This was with a 13 64th inch drill bit. And I did this on my wood cutting lathe, which generally isn't recommended, but my drill press is out of order at the moment, so this was really my only option. From there, I needed to thread it. I did try to cut the threads using the tail stock at first, but that really didn't work very well. I've seen that done with actual metalworking lathes, and I just thought I would give it a shot. Didn't work. So I mounted it in the leg vise on my bench and threaded it that way. One thing that I found handy was to have a bolt of the same thread, which in this case is a quarter twenty, so that I could screw in the bolt every once in a while, throw a piece of tape around it once it got to the maximum depth, pull that back out, and then compare it to the stamp to see how deep the thread actually is and if the thread that's cut is deep enough for what I need. Sticking an arrow drill bit or something into that hole wouldn't work because that would give me the depth of the hole, not how much thread had actually been cut. Another thing I mentioned in the previous video was that the cylinder on the back of the stamp was a little bit too wide. So I used my Dremel with a drum sanding attachment to add a slight chamfer to that cylinder and to slightly reduce the overall diameter. If I were to do this over again, instead of specifying a diameter of 0.25 in 123D design, I think I'd probably go with about 0.245 and see how that works. I think it would just save a little bit of work and make the threading of that cylinder a little bit easier. This isn't the best way to add thread to a rod, but like I mentioned, my drill press is kind of out of commission at the moment, so I couldn't really connect this to the drill press and try to use the quill to apply pressure. So this is what I did. Not pretty, not great, but it did work. I 
after threading the stamp, I needed to clean up the edge because the teeth of the vice grip kind of marred that edge a little bit. So I just used the Dremel with the drum sanding attachment again to do that. Painter's tape really didn't protect it at all. After I cleaned up the threads, I did a quick test fit and it fit just the way I needed. After cutting all the threads, I cleaned the steel rod with a little bit of mineral spirits and a Brillo pad. I then drilled a 3 8 hole in a scrap piece of wood, masked off the section that was going to go into the handle, and then using high heat spray enamel, I spray painted the whole thing black. This is the same kind of paint that you would use for a barbecue grill. Was this really necessary? Probably not, but I do think it made it look a little better and hopefully it'll add a little bit of protection. That's it for creating the rod that's going to go in between the handle and the stamp and also the threading of the stamp. In the next video, the last video of this series, I'll show how I made the handle and how I put the whole thing together. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of the stuff I come up with in my shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.